My name is Alyssa. And I'm Emily. And you're listening to Slash and Slay, a horror podcast. Let's talk about sex, baby. Oh. Let's talk about you, you and me. me. Let's talk about all, all the good things. things. Are we riffing <laughs> off I'm from, to do like Pitch Perfect. from Pitch Perfect? Yes. Pitch Perfect. Pitch Perfect. Shout out Pitch Perfect. It's my dad's favorite movie. Uh uh Dads love this movie. I There was a TikTok the other day where someone was like, my dad is it. My dad loves Pitch Perfect. It's like, is it like a dad thing to like love Pitch Perfect? Really? I don't think my dad's ever seen Pitch really? Perfect, Maybe but we need would, to. He'd probably love it. You can see. I've heard that dads love um, Kyoto by Phoebe Bridgers. Day out in Kyoto. Da, 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 I never even heard that, that song. It's a song that like dad loves. That. Dads oh, love really? that song. Isn't that weird? I'll just see. I'll have to play it for my dad. I'll see. show my dad Pitch Perfect, <laughs> and you. I'll play Phoebe yeah, Richards I remember the first time I watched Pitch Perfect was on the way back from Schlitterbahn because I had a birthday party, mm-hmm. and I d- never wanted to watch that movie because they showed throwing up in the first scene, and I was like, oh, I can't watch yeah, this. But do. then I I got past it. Don't I watched worry, guys. it in the theater, towards the front row. Ooh. So I got like a front row view of the throw up. <laughs> Yummy. Um, well, on that unsexy note. <laughs> right. Guys, this, this it's episode's our about Pitch Perfect. 69th episode. Guys. That's the bow, sex number. Wow, wow. And as two very unsexy girls, <laughs> we are going to try our best to talk about um, sexy, sexy things, things in, in horror. horror. Um, we're just going to kind of riff off, I feel like. Oh, riff off. Just like in Pitch Perfect. Oh my gosh, they're all coming back together. Should we do a Pitch Perfect episode? I don't know what that would possibly entail, but... I don't either. We have to talk about every single horror movie that any cast member of Pitch Perfect was in. We could, probably. Anna Kendrick? Snow. Yeah. Anna Kendrick, maybe she has kind of... She's been like thrillers. Thrillers. That one with Blake Lively? Um, yeah. That's all I know? That's all That's all we got? That's all she wrote. (laughs) And that's our episode on Bitch Perfect. <laughs> um, <laughs> One person. Four movies from that. Um, anyway. Elizabeth Banks. She was in Hunger Games. That is so true. And we've declared that's a horror movie. We have declared and that is a horror movie. I realized we did not talk last week about the fact that there is going to be a new <gasps> Hunger Games. Oh my gosh, guys. I like, it didn't hit me at first. And then it hit me like, like, I got butterflies. My knees were going weak. Because I was like, I cannot I believe like, they're going to make one about him. I was screaming. We we can go back. because We can go back because we, f- we said we this. We said. We said. Suzanne Collins, if you can hear us. <gasps> Do you think she's listening? She might be a fan of the pod. Suzanne Collins, take and notes real quick. her idea, based from us, to write about Haymitch. Yes. Haymitch's. It's going to be a hard watch. It's going a to hard be a read. hard read and a hard watch. But I'm going to eat it up like dinner on a plate <laughs> um i am a little nervous because i'm just worried about the circumstances with it coming out i feel like i'm hoping that this had been something she'd been planning mm-hmm. and not something to just ride the wave of the resurgence yeah yeah and i'm also concerned with like how are they going to do a movie so like how are they already well, I'm sure she's already written the book. Yes. And then... Because the book's coming out... Next March. Next March. Like, the movie's not till next November, I think. It's like, No, the movie will be even a year after that in 25. Oh, oh okay. So it'll be a while. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So they have time. Okay. I just... It just threw me off a little bit yeah. whenever it was like... Because, because I they didn't want to... Because they the movie, like, right, like, with it. Yeah, because with Agent Argyle, that one that just came out, mm-hmm. the book wasn't even finished, and the movie came out, and then the book came out, like... A week later. Yeah. So I was like, that's weird. Like, I didn't want one of those instances. Yeah. Um, but sexy horror, that's Woody Harrison. Woody Harrison. I hope he's, Our like, mans. in it somehow. Yeah, I do, too. I am, I've seen a lot of speculation on who's going to play. Mm-hmm. Me, too. Um, baby young Hamish. Yeah, me, too. I'm hoping it's a beautiful blonde little boy. It has to be. It has to be. It has to be. 
I hope he like at the very end takes his first sip of alcohol and everyone's like, oh right. no, like it's that's the, the moment, like with snow, you know? Yeah, at the very end, you're like, oh my gosh. Um, I'm so excited. Me too. Should we um go to the midnight? Absolutely. Premiere. This is one that I would. I'm sure they'll have one. Risk like sleep and everything for. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to take off work. Yeah. I think they're having a, or they did. Our Barnes and Noble had an event for when Cursed Child came out, and it was midnight. Really? So I'm hoping they do that for this one. But they, I don't know if they've done it for any of the Sarah J. Mass books that have been coming out. And maybe it's like a different, it's a different genre. People, I, know, I beast, guess. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is like, I guess Sarah J. Mass is more towards the girls, and Hunger yeah. Games is for the masses. For everybody. Yeah. Hunger Games for everybody. Hunger Games is for everybody. Um, do you have any slash and slays? I actually do. Um, I read a book in like literally two days. <gasps> you read a book? I did. Am I back in my reading era? I Yay. don't know. Um, have you heard of Frieda McFadden? Yes. Okay. It was The Inmate. Okay. I've heard that one's good. And literally like. Do you have it? Can I borrow it? I do have it. Okay, case You can borrow it. <laughs> I already <laughs> said thank you. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> well, you know the answer. And I want us to, be, I want it to be like Darcy Coates, like where we can like, you know, mm-hmm. like talk about it and stuff. I do have to say, I will, I slay it because at like at the end, like I got to, I was halfway through last night and then I just kept going mm-hmm. and it was mm-hmm. like two in the morning mm-hmm. and I was like, mm-hmm. okay. And I finished it. Mm-hmm. Um, the main character is a little infuriating at times. She picked me. No, well, a little. And she's a little, like, she's very gullible. She doesn't trust her instincts Mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like, I don't want to spoil it for you, so I'm trying to think how to word this. There's this part where she, like, she's like, okay, I'll have sex with him. She didn't really want to, but she did it because he wanted it like it was uh, just like he was it, just trying to he she was just trying to get him off her back for like in a way yeah uh, i don't know it's just to appease him you'll you'll get to that part and you'll know what i mean but yeah that makes me sad it just i was like what is her deal like i mean i don't know but it was just like i was gripped with her books it's like you really don't you're like questioning the whole time you're like what's going on and like she brings in so many like it's this no it's this it's this mm-hmm. it's this and not necessarily an like, like gimmicky it's not like gimmicky it's not annoying but it makes you just be like okay you know it's you're like oh i know what it is and i'm pretty good at that because i always say with scooby-doo i can always guess yes. I see that as soon as i see the villain on screen whether i've seen it if i haven't seen it i know it's that villain mm-hmm. but so i'm like oh i like i at one point i was like i know exactly what it is and then you were mistaken. And then it wasn't. So yeah. That's how I felt with um, some Darcy coats. Yeah. Too like mm-hmm. the winter. What was it called? Winter something. Dead of uh, winter. The, yes. Mm-hmm. Um. Have you read any other of hers, Freedom McFadden? I read The Housemaid's Secret, which is actually the second book. I didn't realize it was the second book. Oh, were you confused? Uh, uh not really. I was like. Because it kept talking about, like, her past and other things she's done and stuff. Honestly, like, I kind of just fell seamlessly into it. I just thought it was, like, oh, it's, they're just, like, mentioning her past. And oh. I was, like, oh, this is the second book. <laughs> well, that's good, at least. Whoops. So, it didn't really, like, I guess it kind of maybe will maybe spoil the first book, but. Whatever. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. So. So, slay both of those? Slay. Slay. Slay, slay. Sly, sly. I'm glad you're in your reading area again. Me too. I got this one, book too. It's called Assistant to the Villain. Mm. And it's like a fantasy. There's not really a lot of fantasy, you know. Yeah. But it's like a fantasy comedy sort of oh, okay. romance. So. Ooh. I got um, Book Lovers by Emily Henry over the weekend because mm-hmm. I need some romance. And mm-hmm. I already was like kicking, giggling my feet. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Is that her newest one? No, her newest one's Funny Story, oh, which right. I got it um, the day it came out. And I started, I read, like, four chapters, and I was like, Didn't like this it. is so sad. No, her oh. books are just always so sad. Yeah. Like, they're just sad. And then there's, like, 
some happy like they're just very real life and like real life is really sad sometimes yeah. so that's what makes me like oh my gosh i can't do this mm-hmm. sometimes you know i know it'll end up okay but right i kind of put that one off for now um tonight i hope to finish um horror movie by paul tremblay mm-hmm. close personal friend of the pod mm-hmm. we love you paul <laughs> um it's very it reminded me a lot of his um what's it called ghost house head full of, of ghosts head full of ghosts yeah which is going to be a movie with robert Downey jr mm-hmm. producing very exciting um but you know how i feel about haunted things yes not not the biggest fan yeah so i think this movie i mean this book is very interesting and very like unique in the way that it's switches from script to real life and then sometimes it blurs the lines and you're like what's real life what's the script what's the movie what what's going on Mm -hmm. um and i am gonna slay it because obviously love paul tremblay but slay for paul tremblay <laughs> paul for slay for paul paul for slay paul for slay um it's a lot more what's the word it's a lot more elevated than his previous books i would mm-hmm. say um although a lot of them are I, I would say there's like you know silly just fun horror there's like stephen king horror mm-hmm. there's like there's a different middle levels, road yeah. yeah and then there's like super elevated and i think he's been more towards the super elevated side yeah but not to this extent and i think that's ma- mostly because of the main character mm-hmm. so um this one's been a little slow for me not because it's bad just slow because it is kind of a i mean it takes place over such a long period of time too yeah um but no i'm excited to finish it we'll see what happens um 85 of the way through according to my Kindle. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I slay it. Uh, I'm going to preemptively slay it. Preemptively. 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 I'm going to preemptively also slay the Awaken audiobook. <laughs> Narrated by our lovely, lovely Alyssa. But is it, though? Oh, alias. Is I have right al- word? I have an alias. Uh, alias, pseudonym. Pseudonym. Know. Yes. Mm. You don't want to talk about it? <laughs> oh. I asked her before, I was like, you want to plug it? And now she's like, mm. <laughs> I have a hard time speaking about myself. Okay, I can speak about it then. Okay. Um, go off, queen. Go off. About me. Queen. How great I am. <laughs> um, Awaken is your first published? Second. Second published. Right, right, right. Mm-hmm. Second published. This is the first one I've listened to because I wanted to do this one first because you said that this yeah. was your favorite. So this one's kind of like hung. I was describing it as like, hunger games meets um mad max a little bit yeah a little Mi- mad max. meets dune a little, a little bit a little dune a little maze runner in there yes a maze runner mm-hmm. um so it has that like element of the districts and the president type vibe but it's also like territories mm-hmm. so you have that and then the main character is also um did she have like a bow and arrow it was like a crossbow really. thing she did have a, cro- a crossbow one time or a, yeah at a one bo- point. she did have a bow and arrow actually. okay yeah so but so katniss that, so. um she didn't really use it really. no she didn't use it at all Mm-mm. um it's just so interesting it's so like unlike any other it, story that i've it really of. was like, like that there's so many it. out of pot not out of pocket but like I out know, of left field characters yes and i didn't know ever know what was gonna ha- like happen next oh i have like, no I clue was i'm like, halfway through it not a, not a clue yeah but it was a blast to perform and the performance is amazing unbiased yeah. opinion because if if it was then i wouldn't if i was biased then i wouldn't have fin- started finishing it started finishing it <laughs> what i'm trying to say is audiobook narrators are very like you know i'm very particular about them yes they're very like to each their own yes that is so true type thing so and that's definitely true being in the business it's like mm-hmm. you know with authors you just never know like when your voice is going to fit for them mm-hmm. so but we can get this book on audible audible mm-hmm. it's called awaken, awaken by michelle bryan awaken by michelle. the first book of the series yes i'm so excited and hopefully there will be more there will be there will be more 
um beautiful audiobook work and i'm so proud thank my you. little Alyssa. thank you um i think that's all i have of slash and slays Me too. i watched inside out <laughs> too that's a, no oh <laughs> the first one <laughs> so you even watched the new one uh, no um okay guys let's get sexy let's sexy let's bring, bring it in down. sexy back i should turn my lights to red right please do mm, 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 turn my lights mm, to red and <laughs> i'm just thinking of a song turn my lights to so red sexy. and take off my clothes <laughs> <laughs> uh no thank you um i think today we should just talk about sexy horror movies <laughs> That's a great idea. We didn't plan this at all. Um, I did recommend, recommend? I did suggest that we go through the Kama Sutra <laughs> and <did>. assign <laughs> and each position for, position for characters. Four characters. <laughs> but I'm too scared to look at that thing. <laughs> right? It's, um, you know. You know. Y'all know. Y'all know what, what the Kama Sutra is. <laughs> yeah, I need to tell my brother not to listen to this episode. <laughs> yes, we should put a warning on this disclaimer episode beforehand. Yes. Um, I think, but what? I think, but what? what? But I think, but who? <laughs> what two characters do you think would sixty nine? Um. Oh my gosh. See, who would I want to? Who who two cares like what I want would to? Would you want to see sixty nine? Um, that's a different question. <laughs> who do I think would? Mm-hmm. Both give me both. Okay, I think <laughs> this is so <laughs> gross. I hate this episode already. <laughs> Ew. Um, who's the captain from Jaws? <laughs> Wait, the captain, like the guy who? Uh... Yeah, the captain of the little What's ship. What's his name? Quinn? Quinn. No. That's the other guy. Quinn's the I think guy. you would too. <laughs> With who? Um, the shark? <laughs> yes. No. Um, I think he would with... Um, I don't want to say Pearl for everything, but I feel like she would be doing anything. You she know what I'm saying? Anyone. She would do anything, anyone, Pearl anywhere. Pearl the Scarecrow. Pearl and the Scarecrow sure did something. Mm-hmm. We um, didn't see the whole scene. Mm-mm. I think him and I'm trying to think of someone who's not a teenager. Even though they mostly are not actual teenagers, like they're right. play, the but they're playing teenagers. teenagers. Yeah. So I'm not trying to be pervy here, guys. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Um. Okay, I'll, I'll say Pearl. She'd do it. She would. Now, who would I want to see do it? Yeah. I want to see um, Ash Williams. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Ash and um, Pearl also. Because <laughs> she's so beautiful and hot. Or, no, no, no. You know what? Maxine? Ash Williams. Oh. No. Ash Williams and Florence Pugh and Midsommar. That would be wow. hot. That would be H-I-W-T. Wow. Oh, wow. All right, now your turn. <laughs> uh, I didn't think this through. <laughs> well, okay, then I'll ask you a different question. I, okay. What two characters do you like to fall in love sweetly and make sweet, beautiful love, <laughs> love together? Which I think would like to fall in love sweetly and make no, sweet, um, beautiful love together? No, which characters would do it in the back of a car? I think that... Um... You know who? You know who? <laughs> you know who? Uh, Jeepers Creepers. Okay. He's always getting down in, he in likes the back the cars. of the He's got his truck. Uh huh. He would take someone back there. Someone. Who would it be? He would take. Um, why is it like I can't think of any horror movies when I need to? I know. That's how I am, too. I can never think of the girls. Jeepers Creepers would take would take you know think of someone with beautiful eyes it should be wendy because she got big old eyes oh yeah that's true and he he's would like, I like take that. those eyes i love those eyes they're Jeepers huge Creepers and wendy yeah wendy torrance in the back of the truck in the back of the truck they're getting down to 
Have sex. <laughs> <laughs> to 69 <laughs> in the back of a truck. Not to say 69. Just well, do it. They're just doing it. But they, they can, can if they want. Yeah. If they would like to. If they'd like to. They can. If they're consenting adults. Exactly. Um, who? Oh, it's your turn. Ask me oh. a question. But I have your next one. Okay. This is now turned into questions. Who would be... Who would be caught doing it in public? Who would be caught doing it in public? Mm-hmm. Um, I think it would be... Um, Freddie. Oh, yeah. Freddie's a voyeur. He is nasty, and he doesn't care. I guess I wouldn't even be, like, caught. Like, he'd just be doing it, and people would see. Like, he's not, like, hiding for anything. Right. But yeah, he would definitely open. do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He'd be caught. Um, which character besides in this movie? What horror character? <laughs> Who would... <laughs> Who would get it follows? The besides the ones that get it, right? It besides the ones that get it, um, I feel like this is kind of out of left field. <laughs> Annie Wilkes. <laughs> yeah, poor girl. <laughs> she would just because she's like you know, and I think she kind of deserves it a little. Like, girl, yeah. you wanted an attachment? Here you go. How about the It Follows is like so terrifying. It is. It really is. Because you're never safe after that. No, you literally aren't. It doesn't matter how many like how many because, people. No. Yes, because if they die, um, yeah, it and they and they don't know about it too. They can easily die. Yeah. No. No, thank you. So, but then at the end of it, they gave it to a prostitute. Yes. So that she would, anytime the guy would die, it'd be like, oh, she's, you know, she has sex, like, and then they go. Oh, I mean, I guess that's smart, but still, you're not safe. No, you're not, because you just never know. You'd always be looking over your shoulder. You'd always, there would be no time when you would feel safe. Mm Mm-hmm. Um. Good question. Thank Um, you. Um. What two characters, not in this world necessarily mm-hmm, mm-hmm. would get Jason Voorhees aka stabbed in the middle while doing it at camp um well doing it at camp I'm so sorry but I feel like in my fantasy that I just made up <laughs> <laughs> um why can I not think of the red-haired girl from It? Oh, Beverly. Beverly, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say adult Beverly, okay? Adult Beverly. Adult Beverly and adult Bill. Oh, yeah. They go back and they're like, let's relive our summer camp days. And they right. do and they get Jason Voorhees. You're right. They evaded Pennywise just to get Jason. Yeah, seriously. How unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Um... I had one for you, but now I've I've forgotten. Um, You've forgotten. Which two characters do you think would um would 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 do a threesome? <laughs> like who would who do a threesome? Who actually, would they do that's it what with, I mean. or who would the three people just be? See, just do three people. <sighs> Let me look. I had to pull up a list because, like, my brain can't Doesn't, yeah. function. Should I just, like, close my eyes and pick three random people in here? And then we'll... We'll discuss? D- yeah, do it. Uh, okay. Uh, Kevin Wendell Crumb <laughs> from Split. <laughs> from Split? Mm-hmm. A the original man. guy who has trauma. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Rose the Hat... From, okay, uh, James McAvoy and her? That's hot. Wait a second. Wait a second. And they would bring in Jigsaw. Well, it was almost a beautiful thing. Do you want to play a game? Yeah, he sure does. He sure does. He sure does. Um, 
Okay, now I have a question for me. Well, I have a question. Okay. Can you want to do rapid fire smash or pass? Yes. Okay. <laughs> a yes. Smash or pass Jason Voorhees? Pass. Freddy, Freddy Krueger? Pass. Michael Myers? Pass. Pinhead? Pass. Pennywise? Mm, pass. Wait, More. unless it's... His, <laughs> if he's old-timey, smash. Before his face gets yes, ripped off? Yes, smash. Uh, pin, uh, Norman Bates? Oh, smash. I know. <laughs> I smash. Leatherface? I pass. <laughs> Jigsaw. Pass. He's a little toy, little boy. Ghost face. Depends who it is, right? I know. I was like, which one? Just in the costume. In the costume? Mm-hmm. Pass. Out um, of the costume? Smash. Annie, Annie Wilkes. I feel like she'd be really... No, actually, no. Pass. <laughs> she gets she get too attached. Yeah, she would get too rough, I think. Jack Torrance. Oh, He's really cute in those sweaters. That's Jack Nicholson. I know. Jack Nicholson's crazy. Jack Nicholson. Jack Nicholson. That's Jack Nicholson. Like drunk. Jack Nicholson. Jack Torrance is, I mean, a different character, but. Yeah. Jack Nicholson is still creepy, too. I'm going to have to pass. Okay. All right. Your turn. Ready? Mm-hmm. Carrie. That's just a teenager. <laughs> Let's not do that Skip the teenagers <laughs> and kids if you can. Clarice Starling. Oh, Smash. Oh my gosh, you're getting good ones. I'm reading them in order now. <laughs> Chris Washington. Uh, uh, Smash. Oh my gosh, Ash Williams. Smash. Okay, I'm not giving these I have good to ones smash anymore. For you. Yeah, I have to smash for me. <laughs> I'll be like, tell me about it, <laughs> please. Um, Pamela worries. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Are you sure about that? Uh, Martin Brody from Jaws. Oh, Brody. Oh, smash, smash a thousand times. <laughs> Um, Ripley. Smash. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Count Dracula. I'm going to pass. Okay. Hannibal Lecter. Pass. Frankenstein? His monster, I mean. Mm, smash. <laughs> okay. Smash. You like a tall this man. Is a no explanation. Smash. Okay. Pass. Tall man. Um, um, for Griffin, the invisible man. Oh, pass. Because you can't find him. <laughs> can't find him. Uh, Rosemary Woodhouse. Mm. She's so beautiful. She is, but she got baby drama. That is so, so. true. Her, Pass. her. Uh, I don't deal with that. R.J. McReady from uh, the thing. Kurt Russell. Oh, Kurt Russell. Yes, yes. Matt. <laughs> yeah. Pazuzu. <laughs> Why is that a character? <laughs> you better pass. Pazuzu, isn't Pazuzu. that the demon? Yes. From, yes, I'll, I'll pass. What about Xenomorph? Smash. <laughs> what about, um, did you say Smash? <laughs> <laughs> um, they already can put eggs in me. I don't have a choice. What about, um, oh gosh, what's his name? They have his name, Daniel, oh, Candyman. Candyman. Oh, Smash. Mm-hmm. Why'd you get all the good ones? I got all the Smashes, you got all the passes. Yeah. <laughs> you suck. You suck. Um, I'm trying to think of, okay, there's two, there might be more, two sex slash killing scenes that were so gnarly in some horror movies. Mm -hmm. Um, My first one is the Alien Covenant shower scene. Oh, yeah. That one's gnarly. Mm -hmm. It's gross. Very gross. Very gross. Um, It's like they're, they're having sex in the shower. And then a xenomorph stabs through both of them. Mm-hmm. Both of them. Both of them. And blood everywhere. Um, and the second one is kind of silly. And it is in Studio 666, mm-hmm. where the Foo Fighters play the Foo Fighters. Yeah. And Whitney Cummings is having sex with one of the Foo Fighters. And then a possessed one. I don't remember how who it was, but... A chainsaw through the bed oh. and through all both of them <laughs> so it's just like a chainsaw like crazy yeah but it's still like i mean it was kind of a funny mm-hmm. moment it's supposed to be like a, a silly one comedic relief yeah do you have one you can think of besides jason i guess yeah um 
I don't think so. She's never seen a horror movie. I've never seen one with sex in it. Well, you watched The Alien Covenant with me, so... I did. I did watch that one. So, that one would be mine, too. Okay. Well. I can't think, honestly. Um, who? <laughs> More questions. <laughs> who? Who do you think is secretly not a virgin but it's like one of the final girl virgins you know what i mean you know the final girl always has to be a virgin right but who do you think is actually not one well so in cabin in the woods right Mm -hmm. the whole thing like was the horror stereotypes yeah and the girl who's like the final girl at the end was like it was like the jock the slut Mm -hmm. the sprainiac the stoner and the virgin but she was like the end she was like i'm not a virgin and they're like close enough like oh yeah so it's like yeah um who of the final girls like classic final girls or like any final girl any i don't think there's a lot of them that weren't virgins i feel like grace from ready or not Oh, she wasn't, no. Oh. No. They did it before. They had to have. They had to have. It's uh, the 21st century. Ripley wasn't. Oh, no, girl. She girl. Every single one of those men on that ship, she's like, she's get like, in. <laughs> she's like, we're going to be here for years. <laughs> get in here. <laughs> Even the android, man. Yeah, come on, boy. Um, um, I would say... Um, well, she didn't live, so no. Who? I was thinking of Drew Barrymore's character. Oh. She did. She did. She ain't a final girl. She's the first girl, <laughs> actually. <laughs> um, 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 um. Who else? Wendy definitely wasn't because she had a child. Right. She was not. And she was. Watch it. That's the twist. She actually <gasps> was. Whose baby is that? Whose baby? Whose baby is that? Who is that? Who do you think is the penultimate? Is that the right word? Mm-hmm. Penultimate? The quintessential. Sexy horror villain. Villain? Yeah. Um. Villain. 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 Or mo- like the sexiest monster. Who's the sexiest monster? Nicholas Cage in Renfield. I'm kidding. <laughs> um, hey, go for it. Um, That's your pick. Oh my gosh, I need to like look up. I need to look up. I need to look up. Sexy horror monsters, or just horror monsters. The Babadook. <laughs> um, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely blog. not. Oh, I mean, Candyman. I mean. I was going to say, um, what's his name? Um, 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 yeah, Candyman is, I mean, in Dr. Sleep, Rose the Hat is very hot. Yeah. She is very hot. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. what the heck am I thinking of? Oh, hello, American Psycho Christian Bale. Um, but he's not my number one, I don't think. He's not my number one. I don't. I was watching. What was I watching the other day? Where someone was like impersonating him. Really? Was it a TV show or was it a movie? Bill Skarsgård. But not as Pennywise. Right. Uh, oh my gosh! This is gonna drive me crazy. Someone who's impersonating. Someone was impersonating American Psycho. I was impersonating Christian Bale. Mm-hmm. It was like a movie I was watching. Oh, 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 oh. Um, the movie, um, it, it's recent, it just came out. Hitman mm-hmm. with uh, Glenn Powell. Mm-hmm. He was like all these different characters, like, to because he was trying to, like, um, catch people who were trying to hire a hitman. Mm-hmm. So he was, like, working with the police, but he would, like, become these different characters. And one of them was, like, he literally was, like, acting like Christian Bale. Like, he, like, looked like him. He had, like, the pinstripe suit. It was, like, really? he was doing, like, a really good impersonation of oh, it. Oh, that's weird. You should look it up. Yeah. Oh, I, I do want to watch that. 
movie, I think. I think I do. I think I do. Um, Jason. I mean. Jason. Well, uh, Jason Bateman. Jason, I'm not like Jason Bateman. <laughs> Jason Bateman for Arrested Development. <laughs> um, <laughs> Norman Bates? Norman Bates? I'm thinking Jason Bateman from. <laughs> OG Norman Bates. I mean. Norman Bates is classic. Mm. Although he has some issues and maybe he doesn't swing for our team but but um i've said so many i feel like yeah i think you've i think you've accurately chosen um pearl too obviously me a goth Kill. V- very very hot not Kill. when she's old though sorry sorry love <laughs> sorry love you're too wrinkly for me <laughs> a bit too wrinkly for me <laughs> a bit too wrinkly okay Who's your hall pass? We don't believe in hall passes. You get one again. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> Who do you think is the sexiest horror character? Horror character? Yeah. Of all time? Does not have to be villain. Jane Jacket. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> the way it opens up. Ew! <laughs> It just sucks everything. It just sucks everything up. Can you imagine? It's so dominant too. It's like don't look it's at so you have dominant. to look down. It'll like collect stuff for you, you know? Like yeah. I mean, have your pick of any of this stuff. It's like it you know sucks what I mean? you up. Yeah. I don't know. Spits it out. Spits you out. Spits you out, you know. What I'm Squeezes you real tight. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Thank you. Weird. <laughs> Who's yours? Um Besides Ash. You can't say oh, Ash. Yeah. You're not allowed to say Ash because you've said okay. it too many times. He's so hot. He's so attractive. Um, character, character, character. <laughs> character, character, character. I mean, um, I do really like um, Hater. What's his name? Bill Hater? Bill Hater in, in It, Chapter 2. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Very hot. Honestly, Bill Hader is like it, he's so There's weirdly hit. Something hits. about him. Like in um, Barry. Oh my god, in Barry when he's mean, I yes. love it. When he's like <laughs> when he's yelling, I'm like yes, he's I like love screaming that. Screaming and like mad. When like, he's being abusive, I love that. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> he's being a toxic asshole. What? I love it. I eat that up. No, yeah, he's there's something about something about a man who can be about so him. silly and also like have that like evil. look in his eye. Yeah. That honestly, all the men in it chapter two, honestly, very yeah. hot. Yeah, you're and right. and and Beverly, yes, Jessica Chastain, yes, all very hot. Agreed. Everyone except for that naked old lady in it chapter two. We don't count her. She's ugly. Sorry. Why are you naked? She's also computer generated. She's also they could have actually had a Pennywise. Real old lady swinging her. Tits do you think around. you would do that if you were an old lady? Swing actress? my tits around? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, at that point. It's like nobody I care for. No, like my parents are obviously not going to be alive right. at that point, so they're mm-hmm. not going to see me. Like who? Who's going to judge me? I'm ninety. My grandkids aren't going to watch that. I'm going to be let them out, swinging them around. <laughs> oh my god! Swing low, running at people. Swing low and proud, <laughs> running at people, offering yes. them tea. Absolutely. Um. What else? <laughs> <laughs> Um, why do you think there's so many, so much sex and horror? Sex in and horror. You know what? This is a good philosophical question to end on. Hmm. Herm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so let's, let's, let's talk about, um, for example, Infinity Pool. Yeah, I never saw it. No, you started seeing it. You started watching it. Did I? And you turned it off, right? No. No, I think, no, 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 uh, no, no, no. Your boyfriend just, like, fully described it to me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> in um, detail. So I saw it in my... In your head. In my head. So that... Which one? X. You did not like X, right? I didn't like X, but I need to rewatch it because I like Pearl so much, and I know I'm going to like Maxine, mm-hmm. so I feel like I need to watch it. I think... I just think I have an issue with, like, super graphic like sex in general on mm-hmm. the screen 
Um, also, okay, like, for example, I was looking up, this kind of pissed me off, because I was looking up um, the sexiest horror movies, mm-hmm. or whatever, according to whatever it was, mm-hmm. top 25. And one of the ones that was in there was I Spit on Your Grave, which is about the girl that gets, like, gang raped. Yeah, yeah. I was like... So that's not sexy, and guys. And what part of the world... Like, what What the hell? Like, why is this con- this movie... This movie is sick. Yeah. And, like, also, just, like... Also, I think when you're looking at, like, who's directing these movies, most of the time it's men, men. who are making these um, very graphic um, sexual assault scenes mm-hmm. and sex scenes regular sex scenes with horror and I think it just is like why are you doing that yeah what's the end goal here Mm -hmm. is it shock factor or is it for your benefit right because I think why do people really need to see that like we all know I don't know you know like I think it's um something that used to happen a lot more was just nudity I feel like Mm -hmm. and that was more of like a I don't know like I'm thinking of specifically um what's that rise of the night of the living Living dead Dead. but the other one is the parody night of the something else night of the living dead rise of the living dead maybe that's it but it's like they go to this to this um graveyard and they're like punk people and they like take off all their shirts and they're just today's and they're just like dancing around and i'm like you know i'm looking at i'm like why like why mm-hmm. are you naked and like what what's the point of this and i think it's in a way a shock factor but more for like if you also put in the context of the time period, like yeah. in the eighties and things like that, like that was, I don't know. That's seen as a different type of person. If mm-hmm. that makes sense. Like somebody that would do that is somebody that yeah. would. And again, with like the virgin is the one that lives. The ones that have sex are the ones mm-hmm. that don't. Yeah. And so I think, it, you know, maybe started off as like a moral lesson, like, in that way mm-hmm. and then it's kind of a reclaiming of like okay. and I think now a days we're getting past that where it's like you can have like sexuality and horror and yes. not be punished for mm-hmm. doing you know something whatever I'm not making much sense in my head it makes sense um and I also feel like with things like we've talked about before like a lot of the things Stephen King says or a yeah. lot of male writers write these awful it, it's not even necessarily always awful graphic scenes. It's somebody thinking something and yeah. describing a woman a certain way mm-hmm. that just like, oh, to me, it's like, oh, my gosh, why is this so like, why is this necessary? Like, we don't need to talk about this. But then you're also like, oh, I'm I'm reading a horror book like this is part of horror. And so that's like where it's a weird line because yeah. where. Like you're saying, I spit on your grave. That is not sexy. Mm -mm. There is unconsenting sex in that movie. And that is what makes the horror. Like, that's what spurs... That's the initial horror. That's what spurs the rest of it. So, you have to recognize that those are both in the same horror camp. Now, that's where, like, it it gets weird because... It's. I think it's, like, the purpose behind it. Yeah, right. A lot of the times, it... Sometimes it's like, okay, X, it made sense. They were making... A pornographic a film. pornographic movie. So, in a lot of ways, that made sense. And you can kind of, like, whether you... You know, whether I want to watch it or not, whatever. Like, that's besides the point. But, like, I think when you then have, like, a graphic essay scene... It's like, why, why are you feel the need to show this, like, happening, mm-hmm. you know? And I think it's, like, the intent behind it and, like, 
looking at who the director is and like like are you ju- like are you trying to exploit this or are you actually trying to like shed light on it like what are you yeah doing? are you trying to show this as part of the horror or are you trying to show it as like this happens and then she goes crazy and it's awesome you know mm-hmm. so i think we do need to be better about that because you also have to know your audience too and like right. unfortunately the horror world is mostly male dominant and mm. also unfortunately a lot of men are not of the same mindset mm-hmm. you know like a lot of them are yeah. i don't, I don't want to generalize or anything but you just don't know like there are stereotypes for a reason too um but i think that with the way that horror has always pushed the envelope, I think that that, like, use of body and, like, even if it seems unnecessary sometimes, they both aid in that, like, of making a different kind of art for a different kind of people. Mm-hmm. And, like you said, it's, like, about the intent. Like, maybe I didn't understand why she was naked in the um cemetery or whatever Mm -hmm. but i was still like oh well i remember that movie because they like made a choice and made did something interesting and different you know so um i don't know also nudity isn't necessarily sexy all the time you know right true i just remember hating um like what is it in the shining also when he has that scene with the the, beautiful lady in the tub Mm -hmm. and then he gives into his human urges Mm -hmm. and she turns into a nasty nasty Nasty. crinkle crinkle lady that'll be me when i'm 90 swinging not with if you have those gross on your back i'll be like girly we're gonna have to (laughs) no it's just spend spend less time in the tub (laughs) um but yeah i don't know i've just just been yapping yeah just yapping about it i mean it's like it's hard to know like what's right and wrong because like is look at a naked body is that is that naked body wrong inherently no Mm -mm. so that's why i think that it's just about like the intent of exploitation versus storytelling Mm -hmm. and it's a really fine line i think yeah and also it's like even with horror like there's some things that i know like i cannot watch like Mm -hmm. with certain gore or certain like Mm -hmm. like with hereditary i cannot watch that like that is where my line is drawn and i think that's similar with um if you add the sexual element into movies there are some things that like like i cannot watch like an r-word scene like that like i i just can't do it Mm -hmm. and that's okay too you know so and you know i can watch a regular old I can watch X fine, yeah. you know. But anyway, to each their own consenting viewing pleasure as well. Um, and to end our sexy episode. Sexy episode, guys. We just had to end it with, like, getting deep. I'm talking Sorry, guys. deep. You know um, what I'm saying? <laughs> talking 69. <laughs> Um, la- let's do one more question each. Okay. Just to lighten up the mood. Lighten up the mood. Ooh, 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 ooh. She was <laughs> doing her hand all beautiful. Who do you think would have sexy sex time in a pool? In a pool? Mm-hmm. Um... Mia Goth and Infinity Pool? No, I'm going to think of something better. <laughs> um, also, the captain from John. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that too. And the shark. Um, in a pool, I'm going to say... Um, 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 the uh, people in It Follows, because at the end, they electrocute them in the pool. Yeah. No, that's not a good Come answer. On. Come on. I know. I'm sorry. I'm Who's sorry. Who's in the pool? Who's in the pool? Who's in the pool? What am I referencing? Am I doing that? I don't know that. Who's in the pool? I don't know. What's in the box? What's that? It's Jerry Seinfeld? <laughs> that's what she sounded like. Impression. What's in the box? That's what she sounded <laughs> 
Ike? No, it's from uh, Seven. Oh, yeah. Oh. Who's in the pool? <laughs> Shad. Um, Shad, very Chad. I'm going to say that it is Pennywise in the pool with the revolver. I just said a clue. You did it. <laughs> a clue reference. <laughs> Pennywise in the pool with the revolver. No, Pennywise would do it in a pool. He would. And all his makeup would get everywhere. He'd love it. He'd, He'd love be laughing it. the whole time. He'd be like, hee hee hee. Yeah. Dancing. Dancing and laughing. Dancing on this big laughing on the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one more question for you. Oh, we got that out of hand. Um... Who would do it in? Who do you think would do it in a public bathroom? In a public bathroom? Someone who doesn't care about sanitary I environments. Think <laughs> Buffalo Bill oh. would do it in a public bathroom. Ooh. Wearing a different skin. Oh. And it wouldn't be pleasant to walk in on. No, that's why you knock. Well, what if it's like a public bathroom with multiple stalls and there's not a lock? You're right. That's what I was envisioning. I'm thinking about our mall bathroom. Like as the single use? No, <laughs> oh. no like the one. Yeah, like you're talking mm-hmm. about. You know what? Maybe Swamp Thing would also Swamp want thing? to go in the water. Probably. Maybe something would want to go in the water. Something in Pennywise. Ooh. Together at last. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot. That's all right. Um, wow. Well, Can't believe we've done 69 episodes. I cannot either. 69. And now what are we going to do next, Alyssa? You and me? We're going to sit on this couch. And we're going to turn off all the lights. And light a few candles. Mm. And... Watch a movie. Watch a movie. <laughs> Maybe play some Narnia. <laughs> Maybe play some Narnia later. Very hot. Very sexy young gals. <laughs> That's us. Guys, we are. Guys, we are sexy young so gals. So full of <laughs> sex. <laughs> no. Um, Maybe. Maybe. Maybe one of us does. I know one of us is. Oh, Alyssa. <laughs> no one heard that. No one heard it. I'm cutting that out. Cut it. Um, what else, guys? That's all. <laughs> That's it? That's it? That's all she wrote? That's all she wrote. Um, do we want to tell them what movie we're going to watch so they can watch it? Yes. Yes. Um, yes. In honor of June, next week we are talking all things Pride. Pride, pride and horror, queer horror, all of the good things. Um, and we are going to be discussing the film... Slay. Slay, Slay, which is on Tubi for free, so you can watch it. Yes, it's and a drag queen. A drag queen horror horror film. Film. <laughs> <laughs> um, go ahead and watch it. It's on Tubi for free, and that way we can all discuss it together next week. Next week, y'all. Next week, y'all. Next week, y'all. Follow us on Instagram at Slash and Slay Pod. TikTok at Slash and Slay Pod. Uh, email us at, email us at slash 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 pod at gmail.com gmail. with your questions. Let us know if you please don't expose your deep darkest sexual fantasies, but let us know your favorite sex position. <laughs> Send us the Kama Sutra. <laughs> Send us your Kama Sutra choice. No pictures, choice. please. No, no pictures, pictures will be accepted. We'll delete them immediately after Emily looks at them. After I look at them. For scientific purposes. <laughs> um, anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. I love you guys. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Be safe out there. Be safe. Condom. Wrap up. <laughs>